Hello everyone, today we are going to talk about how we can mine Bitcoin Z in less than 5 minutes using our personal computer. This guide is useful for mining many other cryptocurrencies as well. Some reasons why we have chosen Bitcoin Z are, first, it's ASIC resistant algorithm which offers much more meaningful rewards for the small miners who use their personal computers. Two, the fact that Bitcoin Z is a scam-proof project because it had no pre-mine and no initial coin offering. 3. It is a 100% community-driven project like the original Bitcoin, with no company behind it. What we need in order to mine Bitcoin Z? 1. A personal computer with a decent graphics processing unit. 2. The miner application. 3. Our Bitcoin Z wallet address. 4. A mining pool if we don't wish to mine solo. Are you ready? Let's go! Step number one. Downloading the needed zip files and choosing a mining pool. We visit miniz.ch with our browser. Miniz is a mining application that is specialized in the Equihas algorithm variants. It requires 2 GB of memory in your GPU. In the central page of MiniZ, we press Download and Latest Version. We download the right version for our computer and operating system. We don't forget to write down the password. We will need it later for the decompression of the file. After getting the zip file of the MiniZ miner, we visit the getbitcoinz.com site. We choose About Bitcoin Z from the menu and Mining Bitcoin Z. In this section of the site, we choose a mining pool. For our example, we choose Bitcoin Z to Mars. Every mining pool has its own unique URL and port number, so we visit our mining pool site and we press mining settings and on the left of the next screen Bitcoin Z and we get the pool's server URL and the port number. We save it in a text file for later. Now we have only to download our wallet application. We visit coinomi.com. This is one of the best multi-wallet options. We download the wallet for our operating system. This is the end of the first part of the guide. Part number two. Installing the wallet application and running the miners. We install and run the Koinomi application that we had downloaded in the end of the previous part. In the first Welcome screen of Koinomi, we choose Create New Wallet. The program is giving us a seed phrase that we have to write down. We always back up our wallet by writing down this phrase and keeping it secret. This is the only way to access our funds in any bad scenario like a device malfunction. We should never share this phrase with anyone that we would not like to have access to our funds. We press the next button and we verify that we have written the phrase in the right sequence. In this guide we press skip, but you should confirm that you have written the words in the right sequence in order to go to the next step. We set a password in order to secure our wallet and future transactions. We choose the assets that we are interested in, in our case Bitcoin Z and Monero. And we press the next button. In the next screen we can find the terms of use. By pressing OK we have our wallets ready. Koinomi has generated for us one wallet for each selected asset. In its coins section, by pressing receive, we can get our relevant address for the specific coin. We create a new folder. In our guide, we named it Mining Gap. 
we copy the zip files into our new folder. We will now add an exclusion for this folder in the Windows Defender. We go to the search field next to the start button and we write virus and threat protection and we choose this option. In the next menu we choose manage settings and in the next one add or remove exclusions. We press add an exclusion and then folder and we select the folder that we made containing the two zip files. We did that because the mining and wallet applications usually give false virus alerts, so we are now able to use them without deactivating our system's defenses. Now we can extract the zip files into our mining apps folder, the folder that we excluded in the Windows Defender. For the MiniZ Miner, we run the MiniZ graphic user interface file with a characteristic orange icon. We open the TXT file with our saved information. We copy our Bitcoin Z address from our text file into the wallet field of the MiniZ Miner and we copy the Bitcoin Z mining pools, URL and port number in the server and port fields of the miner. We choose Algo. 144.5 and purse Bitcoin Z. Then we press Start in order to mine Bitcoin Z. It was so simple. Part number three, making our mining procedure safe and more efficient. By lowering the power consumption of our hardware, we can achieve a great reduction for the temperature with a very small loss to our mining speed. We go to the msi.com and we download the Afterburner, the top application for controlling your GPU. We unzip the file and we proceed with the installation. We run the Afterburner application and we can now change the settings for our GPU. The most important of all is the power limit for lower power consumption. In addition, we can change the temperature limit, the CPU and memory clocks, the fan speed and many more with the advanced settings. We have to experiment in order to find the ideal golden line between the lowest power consumption and the highest mining speed, because different GPU models and mining algorithms have different ideal settings. As a general rule, we are lowering our power limit in order to increase our efficiency and decrease the temperature. As an example in our guide, you can see how we have achieved a significant drop in the power consumption without losing mining speed. Section number three, second part, monitoring your mining progress. In order to check our mining progress, we have to visit the site of our mining pool and choose worker statistics. We have to find our Bitcoin Z address in this list. So, we copy it from our Bitcoin Z wallet and we paste it in the minor lookup field or in the general search field. Here we are, we found it, we click on it. In the next page, we can now check everything, our speed and its timeline, the current difficulty level, our shares for the next reward, the estimated luck, our current coin balance, our estimated and paid balances as well. From the main menu, we are going to the payment section now. This list contains the blocks that the mining pool has found. We are receiving Bitcoin Z coin rewards for each block that our mining pool finds. Our reward is based on our mining hash rate percentage on the overall pool's hash rate. Here we find the blocks that our pool has found, the date and time, the associated shares and coin rewards. After a few hours, we have received our first Bitcoin Z coins in our Bitcoin Z wallet. It was very easy.
Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more videos like this. Feel free to leave your comments with your GPU model and mining speeds.